Good Sunday morning. I'm Jitsa Puente with two works for you. Here are today's top stories. With the recent warm weather and then we had the bone chilling cold, the pipes in our homes are being tested. Acts of Service plumbing owner Ricky Hudson tells us this time of year is the busiest. Because of the cold weather, it's common for pipes in our homes to freeze and then break. This causes about $2,000 in flood damage. Hudson says a few additional preventative measures include leaving cabinets open and allowing faucets to drip inside your home so the water won't freeze in the pipes. The National Weather Service will be in Cherokee County this morning surveying damage from a possible tornado from the storm that tore through the Keys area during Friday night severe weather. Now you can see the porch there looks like it was ripped off the front of the home while the home was pulled off its foundation. The homeowner was inside when the storm moved the home, but luckily no one was hurt. A person is in the hospital right now recovering after a shooting here in Tulsa. Police responded to a home near Admiral and Sheridan yesterday morning after a man knocked on the door demanding to speak to his fiance. The person was told he had the wrong home but went to the back door anyway. The homeowner's son grabbed his gun and told the person he was armed and would shoot. Now the person then kicked in the door and went in the house and that is when he was shot. There is no word yet on any charges being filed. Now let's get a check of today's forecast with meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. And Kerrigan, it's a different story than we saw yesterday. <laughs> yes, improving conditions as we head throughout your Sunday. We're going to see that cloud cover clear out as we go into the afternoon. Winds gusty at times up to 25 miles per hour. Highs rising into the lower 50s with the help of those winds out of the south southeast for today. Mostly clear by the time we hit this evening. Warmer as we head into your Monday. A high of back into those 60s, 62 degrees. As we head throughout the middle of our week saying dry cooler by Thursday as a cold front passes through dropping those highs back into the 40s with the chance of showers Thursday night and storms for your Friday clearing up as we head into the weekend to itself. All right, thank you Kerrigan. That was our digital update. Keep checking for more updates throughout the day.